Our last one is Spring Hill, Shane Browder. Sweating in the blistering heat of my dad's mechanic shop, I checked the stock market on my phone to realize that I made more money in the first hour of the trading day than I would make all week working. The summer after my sophomore year forced me to face challenges head on and helped me find a career path that I love. My dad introduced me to finance by having me read The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. We began to discuss the ins and outs of the economy, and before I knew it, I was getting a front row seat in the action I had been dying to participate in. My mom opened a custodi custodial brokerage account using the $2,000 that I'd earned that summer, and I began reading everything I could about how the stock market works. My eyes widened and my stomach dropped when I opened the trading application on my phone for the first time and realized how intricate and intimidating the stock market was. While staring at numbers dancing around my trading screen, all I could see was potential. As the summer went on, I had a burst of success. Since we were in an expanding economy and interest rates were poised to go higher, I had bet that the financial institution Goldman Sachs would trade higher. During the next three weeks, my idea had come to fruition and my $2,000 investment had earned a profit that brought me to $3,400. Trading had become a considerable part of my life and I began to explore new market areas. As I scrolled through the charts of different financial products, I saw that I had enough money to hold a soybean future. Looking at a clear downtrend, I bet that they would go lower, not knowing that there was an acreage report the following day. The next day, my trading account had been decimated. As the news came out, it had only taken five minutes for me to lose over $1,200. As I stared at my phone, I remember angrily saying to my dad, I wish I would have lost it all so I don't have to worry about trading ever again. <laughs> Although it was a significant setback, it also forced me to evaluate where I had gone wrong. I had recognized that I had been overconfident. For the next couple of months, I began to create a system for trading that aided in managing the emotional aspect of trading with my own money and the overall risk to reward ratio I would be participating in during a trade. From this point forward, I began to analyze, <coughs> excuse me, I began to analyze both sides before taking a trade and found tremendous success. The fruit of my hard work had finally blossomed. Between February and October of 2022, I had made hundreds of trades and acquired a total profit of $60,000. Trading during my high school career taught me that I could amount to anything as long as I have grit and draw lessons from the past.